Learning more about the mass shooting that left two people, including a Minneapolis police officer, dead. Shane Wells joins us live now in Minneapolis and has the latest details. Shane, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Officer Jamal Mitchell's family still hasn't finalized plans to lay him to rest, but his body is now at the funeral home in Minneapolis after yesterday's procession. Now we're filling in some more of the blanks with the timeline. According to the BCA, this all started on Thursday, and Officer Jamal Mitchell was the first that responded to this call of reports of a shooting at an apartment on Blaisdell Avenue South. He said he saw two or er, he saw two injured people on the street. And investigators say when he approached 35-year-old Mustafa Muhammad and asked if he needed help, Muhammad pulled out a handgun and shot Mitchell. Two other officers, Nick Kapanos and Luke Kiddock, returned fire and Muhammad was killed. Mitchell, a beloved father who was engaged to be married, is described as the kind of officer the community needed. We already knew that Jamal Mitchell was a hero. From the very first days on the job, he was saving people's lives, running into burning buildings, saving elderly couples. Uh, and that's what he was doing at the very end as well. He was trying to help somebody. He was trying to provide care uh, to a person that ended up killing him. Now, a crowd, crowd gathered at the shooting scene yesterday, praying for peace. Among them, the 911 dispatchers who took the call last Thursday, along with neighbors and other law enforcement. Mitchell's body is now at the funeral home in Minneapolis. And again, the loved ones are still working on the final plans to lay him to rest. But a large number of first responders took in part in another procession as his body was moved from the medical examiner's office yesterday. Now, support continues to pour in for Officer Mitchell. In fact, we're going to be teaming up here at Fox 9 with K102. On Thursday morning, Brooklyn Park Home Depot is the place where they will have kind of a drive through, essentially, where you can drop off any donations, gift cards, letters of support, whatever it is that you feel uh, as you want to come together as a community to celebrate this officer's life. With that, we'll send it back to you. All right. All right. Shane, thank you. Thank you, Shane. Shane Wells reporting live. And we'll have more on the story, including ways that uh, you can help support Officer Mitchell's family right there on our website at fox9.com.